Hi, my name is Aaron and I currently live in Bangkok, Thailand. I'm 15 years old. So in this video, I'm going to be showing to you and talking about a music generator that I've made. So it's a program that when run will output a MIDI file, which is a sequence of notes that forms a complete nice to listen to song. And it can generate an infinite number of these on its own. So I sort of got interested in this whole field of programming and music and generation um, over the last few years, especially during a world trip I took with my family. So we took an entire year off school and traveled the world. And during this year, I got to go really deep into these fields and learn a lot, especially for programming and things that I might not have had the chance to at normal school. And during this time, one of the things I looked into was machine learning and AI. And I've been recently applying this now to music generation, as you'll see in this video. This is a third order Markov chain trained on Rhapsody in Blue and I've taken the MIDI file and uploaded it to a self-playing piano so it's going to run through all the notes and play it as if it were a human playing these keys. very good short-term coherency because it can very well predict like a fourth note if you've got three but over long term it's sort of kind of all over the place which gives it a very jazzy feel to it so it also um, can be playing a lot more than what a normal human can play in terms of notes you'll see at times it'll have like 15 notes down at once so it's, unlike a lot of traditional music, it sounds like what a human would play, but can't actually be played by a human. So it's very nice for background music, since it can just generate this forever. So for things like games or movies, you can just keep this going on forever and you will never hear it repeat. Even though Markov chains are on their own very simple and based entirely on probability, they have the capacity to generate really creative music or at least really creative sounding music, and they can do this completely fluently and with no user input. But there's also a lot of limitations to Markov chains. Even though they sound quite good, they lack any kind of real originality. They're very restricted to what they were originally trained on. In fact, it's impossible for a Markov chain to use any notes or sequences that weren't already somewhere in the original score it was trained on, which is a pretty significant limitation. But there's also a lot of other options, especially with modern machine learning for more complex algorithms, things like neural networks. A recurrent neural network, for example, has the capacity to generate completely unique music containing notes and sequences that didn't appear anywhere in the original score, which is something that's quite amazing to have a computer being able to generate something truly unique. And this is only one small part of modern machine learning. Especially in the future, as machine learning becomes more advanced and complex, it'll have all kinds of new capacities. It'll be able to do things like adapt to the light levels or mood or sound levels in a room and change the music it's generating to match this. And of course, AI can also be applied to other fields beyond just music, to more creative things like painting or novel writing that we've always felt that only humans can do. So, while there's one side to AI that we see a lot of and that gets a lot of attention and it's very functional for things like self-driving cars or stock investing, and this provides a lot of value for us, but there's also a second side to AI that I think is going to emerge a lot more in the future, and that's a more creative human side, generating things that have a lot of value to us and that are beautiful, like music. And this is something that I have an enormous amount of personal interest in and that I really want to be pursuing in the future. <laughs> 